Welcome back folks, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Persona 2. Last time uh, we had our second day at school, I believe, I am not completely sure. Um, we may have skipped uh, multiple days there, uh, a calendar game up and uh, we got uh, found out that it was um, 8th of April, I think, on Wednesday. And, um, yeah, we're still living in the same dorm. We found out that there were only four people living in said dorm. Uh, uh, one of which we haven't personally met yet. And uh, we <laughs> uh, increased our popularity by randomly guessing uh, who the teacher's favorite author was and telling to a friend who wasn't also paying attention in the class. Um, and uh, yeah, we gained some reputation as being uh, a diligent student through that. Then we met this guy, uh, Shuji Igutsuki, um, who is the chairman of the board in our school, I think. And uh, yeah, he came to the dorm to welcome us here. And um, obviously he has some other uh, stuff in mind as well. Uh, he was. Uh, here to see Michiko primarily because she is apparently some kind of weird agent type person. So how is he doing? Yeah, let's learn more about that. He uh, Mitsuru, went to a little while sorry. Ago. He's asleep now. And they are talking about me, Joy. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's? I'm what? Hopefully not like possessed by a demon well, or something. Let's wait and see for now. Yep. The dark hour is approaching. Yeah, I think that's midnight uh, when people enter the coffin state or something, and the electronics stop working. Cutscene. <laughs> He's obviously interested in mm. uh, time. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's what happened. We saw earlier in the day when we came to this dorm. And yeah, it's not creepy at all. Yeah. Hmm. He's still sleeping. Uh, that's a good thing, I think. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Ah, okay, so some uh, slight plot dump incoming here. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. Yes, so... I kind of feel that this is a good thing. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. I'd rather keep my human form as uh, much as possible, as long as possible, thank you. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Obviously I do, since I'm the protagonist of this story, but yeah, I'm kind of hoping that's not something. Although he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Who is this they? Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. All right. I um, feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. I'm guessing, uh... 
uh, I will be recruited after those few days. Also, the guns make much lot more sense now that I know they are like special agents or something. And also, their uh, how they reacted to me when I came in at the dark hour on the first day. They were going to shoot me as one of them, whoever they are. Another cutscene. Right. Welcome to the Velvet Room, my dear young man. I do not feel welcome at all, looking at your face. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. <clears throat> likewise, Igor, likewise. Um, you are not looking creepy or evil or uh, disconcerting at all. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Right, huh? Pleased to meet you. This place Creepy exists voice. between dream and reality, mind and matter. It's been years since we've had a guest. Yeah, I bet. It's not every day that a person can cross those kinds of barriers. Ah. So I may deal with you then. Not up here. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. Good to you know. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one <clears throat> thing I'd in return. much like to know what this unique ability is and if you really are the only one who can teach me that it. That you abide by words. the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. That is easy, because that is kind of like a part of being human. Whatever you do, you must accept the consequences of your actions. I honestly don't understand what is going on here in the broader sense, so I'm just going with that. That is fine for now. Hmm. Hold on to this. Till we meet again. Okay, that it didn't take uh, long to take a turn for the weird. Hey there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kind of feel you. Uh, it doesn't take uh, all that long, not all that much to take, like, uh, make the day brilliant and perfect. Good weather can go a long way. <laughs> Almost uh, spreading rumors once more. He's, he's okay. Uh, as long as he doesn't uh, get too pushy, I think I'll just uh, befriend him a bit further. Classic literature. Good old Japan. Okay. Yeah, it is, but it's really not easy to convey that to a bunch of high schoolers, I think.
Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go with the staying awake. Again, so better in academics. Uh, I feel so sorry for teachers who make that effort trying to make uh, something really quite boring sound hip and cool. Uh, one should try to make fe people. Uh, Appreciate the things for their own merits, but try to make them How is he? something they're not. The same as last night. Oh, okay. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, I am still asleep and not a coffin. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. So I'm a special case. But this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. Yeah, uh, so I said. Unique. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Mm, that's okay, as long as you're not hurting me in any way or manipulating me in any way. You can just observation is a okay, like this. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard he's your classmate. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? Yeah, I guess. But still. Give me the option to choose for Commander. myself and that pretty much solves all the Is that you, Akihiko? moral dilemmas you may have. Okay, I'm guessing you're out doing some Unfortunately, fighting or something. I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Okay. I'm smelling a fight scene. Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Right. Be careful. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to cut this uh, this video here, and uh, next time we'll have our first fight sequence, I believe. Maybe. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you for watching. See you later, and bye for now.